Happy Thursday. All right, we're back with more math. Are you ready? Okay, I'm glad you're ready because I'm ready. You are going to love this part of this theme. 10-5, 10-6, and 10-7 all deal with doing this vertical math and thinking about where you have to regroup. Now, I know that there's a lot of drawings throughout there because remember you've got the... Uh, this would be the 100, a tall stick would be a 10, and one of those little cubes would be a 1. And they do show you a lot of that in here. However, I would advise you, if you understand the concept of regrouping and when you need to do it, that you not bother with the drawings, okay? These are more concrete. Playing with those items are really necessary if you're still struggling with the concept. If you understand the concept of regrouping, we're going to move just to the visual of adding these numbers in columns, okay? When you are adding these two numbers, you need to start with the ones. So we're going to start over here. Three and four is seven, so I'm going to write my number right underneath it. Seven plus four, now we're going to add our tens, is eleven. Now, 11, you'll notice, is bigger than 10. Anything that's bigger than 9, we have to regroup. And that's going to look like this. 7 plus 4, I put my 1 down below. And remember, sometimes we have this little box up here where we can store a number. You'll see that in your workbook. I've got my 1 up here. I've regrouped. Parents will know this is carrying. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 2 more is 4. That makes my new number 417, okay? If you are still in the visual representation phase of this and you want to be able to use those shapes that I showed you before, the big square for the 100, the stick for the 10, and the one little cube or one little Cheerio um, for the ones, you can do the visual in the boxes underneath and they you can see the models that they've used for that and then how they're trading so when you get to 11, you'll notice you have an extra 10 that goes over here, okay? That's where they're adding up in the column differently. You can actually work it out underneath on the mats if you choose. Okay, so there are a lot of problems like this in your book. You're going to notice that they left you boxes where you may or may not have to regroup. Don't get tricked. The boxes is there for you, but it doesn't mean that you have to regroup. Okay, um, in 10-6, the emphasis is really on just choosing a strategy and using it and being able to explain why you did what you did. Uh, and then also in 10-7, you're explaining how things are alike. So you might have a couple of problems to do. There's a group one and group two. This is on page 621 in your book and it says that you should be able to tell how they are alike, okay? So join me for a meet if you need to. Um, otherwise, work your way through the book and look for a new Kahoot.